This video is going to be a short tutorial explaining the uses of the F1 menu here in Members Paradise. I'm not sure what this fat bitch behind me is saying, but let's ignore her. Please don't look at her thong. Okay, she's in my face again, and she's going. Goodbye, darling. So, back to it. F1 menu. When we open the F1 menu, we're greeted with 11 different options. Online players, um, ignore these two. Player-related options, vehicle-related options, time and weather, teleport, voice chat, recording, and settings, and also the about the credits at the end. Um, these two options you will not see as a whitelisted member, for obvious reasons. First of all, online players, you can see uh, currently, unfortunately, I'm the only person online right now, but it's not to bother. It makes it nice and quiet for me to record. In here, we can do things like send a private message to the player. We can send them a private message saying, hi, I'm going to send a message to myself because I'm sad. As you can see, the bottom left has popped up. We can teleport to the player, we can teleport into their vehicle, staff option, we can spectate them, you can't spectate yourself, we can toggle GPS and we can do, that's about it. Under the player related options, we see there are options such as fast run, fast swim, super jump and all those kind of things that we can turn on and off. We can make our players clothes wet, we can dry them again, we can clean them if they're dirty and we can heal them. We can make sure that some other things can happen such as stay in vehicle and we can make sure that we have um, no ragdoll or super jump or fast swim. In player appearance, you can alter your ped, their walking style and customization. This option is explained in another video. If you wish to see that, have a look on the YouTube channel and look for that video. Weapon loadouts, not something we really worry about on uh, Memphis Paradise. Obviously, guns aren't necessary, so we don't need to worry about that. And we can use Noclip to help us to move around. Vehicle-related options. This is another one that we're going to go through in a separate video because there's quite a lot of detail in here. We have time and weather, so you can freeze the time and the weather to your client side. Your other people in the server will not see what your settings are, it's just for you. And you can change the time and day and the weather um, for that as well. We also have some teleport options. You can teleport to a waypoint. If you set one, you can see in the bottom left, I've not yet set one. Teleportation to different um, landmarks in the vanilla map. And some of our custom maps see more yet to come. You can also see there are voice chat settings to turn it on and off to show who's currently speaking, the proximity at which you can hear, the voice chat channel and shows whether you are speaking or not. Recording options are also very useful for those content creators amongst us, which I hope is a lot of us, to start recording, to stop recording and to open Rockstar Editor. In the settings we have some developer tools such as clear area which can delete some peds and things in our local area, show our coordinates if you are interested, show the dimensions of your vehicle and props. Um, we also have some visual settings which you can change player names and the blips and the radar on your screen and things like that. Also, misc settings if you're fed up with people messaging you. Some keybinds if you want some quick speed dial actions to happen. Check in some connection options to rejoin the server. And you can also save your settings so that the next time you load you will have your game configured just how you like it.